Hi, and welcome to the Word of the Week. This week's word is receptiveness. Now, receptiveness is defined as being open and responsive to ideas, impressions, or suggestions. Now, as a student or a team member, uh, you can understand why it's important to be receptive, because we have to be receptive to the knowledge, the experience, and the insights that our teachers and our leaders have to offer, right? They, they've been there. They've done it. They know uh, where they want to go or where uh, they want us to go, and they're helping us to get to that spot. Now, as teachers or leaders, it's also important that we be open and receptive. And one of the things that we need to be open to, first and foremost, is the fact that we don't know it all. Right? Because we have so much to learn in terms of our ability to lead people. And the best source of that information is to be open and receptive to the people that we are leading. Right? Because the impressions that they get and that they give back to us, the suggestions that they have, the ideas that they have on how they best learn can help us to be much more effective leaders and teachers. Right? And personally, I feel one of the biggest weaknesses that leaders and teachers have, and myself definitely included in this, is that we tend to think of things only in terms of the path that we have taken, right? The steps that we've taken to achieve success. Now, each of us has our own path, right? A way that's best for us. And as a leader, I have to constantly remind myself that while there's some parts of the path that absolutely have to be followed, right? I've been down that road and I know that around this corner there's a big ravine, or I know around this corner that there's a den of lions, right? We want to avoid those at all costs. But between those points, there are many routes that you can take that's still going to get you to the same destination. Right? So I have to be open to the fact that what has worked for me will not always work for others. Right? And I have to keep myself open for that feedback from the people that I'm leading to make sure that I have them going on the path that's best for them to get to uh, their point of personal success. Right? And the one thing I want to leave you with is if we feel that we have nothing to learn, then we will learn nothing. So we want to keep our minds open. We want to be receptive to those new ideas, to those new impressions, new suggestions, new methods. Right? Keep your mind open. And you know, there's so much more that we can all learn in our efforts to improve ourselves and improve our world. All right, so thanks for listening to us this week, and hope to see you again next week.